Just a young girl with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follow up. Just got back from uh, being in bait and tackle. Got me some more mud minnows. Uh, got me uh, a couple artificials. Uh, got some uh, blood worms, salt water, uh, fish bites, and also got the uh, some bells. I got these from Walmart this morning because they didn't have all white. So, but I did get me some. Uh, rigs got popping a rig, flounder rig. What else I get? Got a lot of stuff. Some more line later on. Uh, flounder rigs. Got me a new pole down here at B&M. Twenty-five dollars as it is. As it is, it's a Power Plus Trophy class, and I'm gonna put my Pin battle too, cause my rod had broke. So I'm put this rod on it. Sorry, been spooled. So I'll be having that. Oh my rod. Got a lot of stuff in my car right now, unorganized. But we about to go ahead and get to the fishing spot and catch some fish. All right, later. Yeah. Got a nice bite. Uh, nah. He bit and let go. Oh, he biting again. Yeah, I got him that time. I hope he's still on there. Nah, dang, did he let go? Nah, he's still on there. Yeah, nice whiting. Yep. Nice white. This is my rig, Pompano rig, using fish bites. Uh, easy uh, the sand crab bites and uh, fish bites and uh, shrimp. One white. That's what I'm talking about. A flatty. Flatty, flatty, 12 inches flatty. I gotta be, gotta be 12. You gotta measure it. You gotta measure it. Measuring stick. It's easy to make it. Uh, yep, 13. Yep. <laughs> what are you using, my shrimp? You got to go in the rocks. Got a nice one. Ooh, come on now. Ooh, that's a bigger one. Yeah. Let's get him up, buddy. Train boy. Oh, he went in the rocks. Can't get off the rocks. What is that? Jesus, a mangrove. Golly, mangrove. Whoo, mangrove snapper. Man, that's a beautiful mangrove. 
10 inches. Might be too small though. Measure them up. Let's see. That'd be 12. He is 12. On a dot, 12 inches. One foot, 12 inches on the dot. It's three. Ooh, uh, got a nice mangrove. Ooh, nice mangrove, nice mangrove. Jeez. Nice old mangrove there. Boy. Ooh. Me by surprise, boy. God dang. Jesus. No mango snappers. Damn. What is it? Like, like catfish? Catfish. <sighs> Man. We're gonna go over my setup real quick. Um, right here, my big pole. I got a pin, spin fisher, six. And it's an 8500 with uh, some spider wire braid, the um, ocean camo. Blue, light blue, black camo, about 50 pounds on that of braid. Next, we are using for like sheep's head and stuff right here. Just playing around with it is my pin battle two. And I bought this rod to my other rod broke, but it's a Power Plus trophy class, both for $25 at the bait shop. Just to put on it. So I got my pin battle two here. I have my flounder. I'm using for flounder. This is my Spin Fisher 4, and it's, I think it's a 40, it's wore off, 4,500 Spin Fisher, oh, Spin Fisher 5, 4,500. That's what that is. And here, I'm a little cheap Walmart, Shakespeare Intrepid, just to play around with flounder and mangroves. So I didn't know the mangroves were out here, but the mangroves are out here. Caught three so far. Yep, and they fight hard too. Be a panfish, they fight pretty, fight pretty hard, but yeah, that's my setup so far. And I'm putting this on some easy flea for the pompano, and along with some uh, shrimp on my big rod, try to get some pompano. Nothing yet on those. I'm trying to find show y'all what I'm using for the flounder. Basically, I got it from Walmart, and it is. Uh, da -da -da -da. And I do not have any more. I have to go get some more. Hold on, I may have one in here. Yep, this is what I'm using for the flounder. Just a fluke rig, like a dollar something from Walmart, size one hook, spinning an egg sinker. That's all I'm using for Walmart to catch the flounder. Putting a mud minnow, or you put a mullet on there, whatever. So that's it. Right there, got an engine on it, got the stabilizers on it. That's something I need right there. Nice kayak. Try this rig. I'm gonna try this is the knocker rig. Put my sinker here, just let it slide up and down. Just straight braid to hook. Just playing around. Trying it out with a circle hook. See what that do. Bro, sucker's bending, boy. Oh, he got on. Damn. Come on in here. That's old man, bro.
you go with my little snapper right there. Got to be 10 inches here. Lane snapper's got to be eight. So mangrove snapper, he is, you see, he's 11 inches. Keeper. All of the ones I got are 10 inches and above. So how I caught him, I use a circle hook. Dang, this thing is strong. Circle hook with a little teeny sinker. And just a minnow at the end to so let us free free uh, swim. I may have to evacuate, but that storm looks like it's going that way, so I don't see it going this way. So it's clear skies this way. Way over there, you can see the storm over there. Right, right here. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it feels like a pumping though, right here. Right here. I gotta bring him over. Oh, that ain't no problem. I don't know what that is. Like bluefish? That like big old bluefish. A shark. Uh, is that a catfish? That's a catfish. Dang it, I don't want no catfish. <sighs> Dang it. That's not what I want. Throw them back in the water. Yeah, I don't want to get poked because I know it hurts. <laughs> I think he may be too small. Huh? Yeah. Let's see how big he is. Whew. Almost barely made it. Ran me up under that rock. <laughs> Man, it's probably with them bluefish. Dang it. I had, had minnows on there too. <laughs> probably that dang. Uh, what's his name? Mangrove. What is it? What is it? Uh, 
got a black drum from Phil Crab. I don't think he's nowhere near 14. Still measure him up and check. It is. There's a thing on me, but I gotta fight it, but I'm gonna let him go. Funny looking guy. Strong little sucker. Oh, Trump in here. There's something was pulling on him. I didn't bit my goat shrimp. Huh. Hey. He knocked it off too. Oh no, he didn't. He's still on there. No, he's still on there. Eighteen and a half. Keeper. 